views expressed on this recording are solely those of the artists. And by no means do we encourage or condone violence against law officials. Oh, it's for you. It's for you. Uh, yeah, it's for my street niggas. Feel it. On the count of three, say fuck the police. One, two, three, fuck the police. Yeah, fuck them. Applaud any nigga. Damn right, I'm we could lose a few of them, we got enough of them. My niggas on the corner, they be dodging and ducking them. Bitches getting pulled over, end up fucking them. For real. And see, now we got these fake cops, they thought he had a gun. Made a mistake, cops, I hate cops. Turn on the TV, is this another cop busted from illegal business? They out of control, they out of their minds. They pulling you over, they hopping inside, just know you got drugs and know you got guns. And they know when they mad when they can't find none. Stupid, don't you know that you've been at the stash box? The he be in and need a key to get in it. And he offended, people suck my balls. All y'all off the wall, get stupid, dawg. Don't hold back, don't let go. Don't say damn, just say whoa. Say fuck the police. One, two, three, and fuck the police. Yeah, don't get no was gangs for us in these streets. Don't get no was gangs of us. Go deep, nigga. We go G's for love, the whole deep, nigga. Hell with the clothes and there with the beats. Hell in the rope and it's all for homes to hold these. The reason we hold things is no leash in the streets with the police in the street. Yo, stop the old two, one. Old for old things. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. You're not rocking with the best. It's your boy J all day, aka District Dabbers, aka one of one, none before me, none to come. I got my bro DJ Bud on the ones and twos, keeping the vibe lit as per usual. Get them emails hot. Get them backwards twisted. Get that course banging at a perfect temperature, man. We about to be talking turps, you hurt? For my street niggas, feel it. On the count of three, say fuck the police. One, two, three, fuck the police. Yeah, fuck them. Applaud any nigga. Damn right, right. We could lose a few of them. We got enough. All right, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got the. Hottest nails with the flyers host. DJs on the ones and twos giving it the most. There's no need to boast. There's no need to brag. We're just talking turks, so just grab a slab. Listen up closely, I might be moving too fast. Welcome to the capital of the land of dance. After a long day of monotonous work, let's sit back, get tuned in. To talk in turks. Yo, you. We back in the motherfucking building. Eagle, can you bring me down just a little bit? All right, we back, baby. Back like the front. Yo, bro, we fucking made it. Like we fucking. You know what today is, right? You know it's fucking. It's fucking Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. You know what that means? That means it's fucking time for another. It's time for another installment of the show that we lovingly refer to as Talking Turps with District Dabbers. Everybody make some motherfucking noise. Oh, yo, we made it through the motherfucking week. Yo, we fucking did. You know you how with that mask on, niggas. No, 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 I'm chilling. You know, I'm sweating profusely just looking at you. Chilling. Yeah, at least we're ready to go rob a bank if need be. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I'm coming with the summer edition. Bonds build bonds. We we working wow. on something. Yes, yes. I see you got that Wu Tang shirt on. Oh yeah. Cash was everything around. Me. Did the uh did the mics and men drop already? Did it come out? Yes. All uh you sh- you should be able to see them all on Showtime or if you on got Showtime, that, right? If you got that fire stick, holler at me. Hit me in the DMs. Yeah. Hit, hit holla at holla at the guala. All right. right. I gotta watch that shit, bro. Shit is fantastic. Wonderful Wu Tang shit. Nice. 
uh, and they're on Nas's label, correct? Uh, this, this project, the, this project is coming out. The documentary through Appeal, right? is, yeah, because you know that's one of his production yeah. companies. That's dope as fuck. Yes, man. It's all coming full circle. Yeah, it's I love, I love that. I fucking love that. It's very dope. I, and I just started following Core Mega. What do you mean you just started following? I just, I, I, I was thinking about him. Pause. And then I just like, I, I freaking, you know, like I was playing, I was playing um some firm shit. You know what I'm saying? And then so you know, I've been on my new DJ kick. You Same. know what I mean? So then, boom, he, I was thinking, I'm like, damn, y'all wonder what's up with, with, with Mega. You know what I'm saying? And so, boom, I did the IG thing. I found his page. Say word. That was literally how oh, I... you talking it about following him, like, on IG. Yeah, I followed him on oh, Insta. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, I mean, I've been... Come on, who hasn't followed Mega? If, yo, if someone was, my that's age, why I was confused. No, I meant, like, on the okay, Insta okay, web. Okay, you know okay, what I'm saying? Okay, okay. That's, that makes much more sense. Yeah, so, I, yo, bro, he got some pretty dope merch. Oh, I believe that. His merch is fine. I mean, the, of course, his music is amazing, too. Oh, come on, this is fucking mega. But what I'm saying is that his merch is really fucking dope. You know what I mean? Like, speaking from a guy that, had, like, puts out merch, you know, like, I was looking at his shit, and I'm like, God damn, he got, like, his jacket. It, it takes, it takes like, some Yeah, like, he's, he's not just you know cranking saying? out no fucking, uh, you know, silk screen t-shirt. Right, you know what I mean? Right, like, right. He's, he's putting out fucking fashion, like, fly shit. So, you know, I just shout out fucking call Mega, man. Motherfucking Mega. Yes, mega. No, motherfucking Mega. Motherfucking Mega. The OG. So, bro, you had a party. Yeah, the fucking party was lit. We had two parties last week. It was so yeah, you, it was Yeah, it was on the same day as well, no, right? it was a fun, fantastic, freaky, funky Friday. Straight up and down. Funky-ass Friday. It was great, man. Um, Brixton was live. We ended up being on the, on the rooftop. So we packed that bitch out. It's and always then, uh, awesome to be on the rooftop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to start doing that. And uh, then we're going to probably start doing some more ratchet shit at uh, Dark City. And then we're looking at some shit at um, Capo Deli on Florida. So, uh, yeah, we're working. That's what it is, working. When's the next party? Uh, That's uh, coming up. I know the Dark City joint is coming up. We're ironing out when we... Uh, well, next on the bricks is gonna be, but it's gonna be in June. Well, I got invited to be uh, the beat conductors. Where's that? So I got invited to be a judge at a beat battle. Oh, upcoming beat battle. They doing one. Uh, it, it's in it's in Bull Run, Virginia. Where? So VA, we will be all up in ya. Where the fuck is Bull? I'm gonna leave my rigs at home though. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave my rig at home. Bull Run right. sounds kind of. I'm sketchy. just gonna come regular. They don't. They going there on purpose. Yeah, I mean that's where the event is. There, uh, that's where the beat battle is. Where the so, fuck is Bull One though? It's um, it's a hike. It's a, it's a bit of a hike. It sounds like not close at all. It's not. It's not at all. But I'm honored and I'm excited, so I'm gonna go. Uh, it's in July though, so you know what I'm saying. Stay tuned. I'll be posting flyers and shit. You'll see it. And then um, I've been I've been behind the scenes talking to uh. My fam, Fat Hefe. You know the oh, fam, Hefe. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, if I'm not mistaken, starting next week, you know how they be like, after the show is the after party. And yeah, yeah. So, boom, every Tuesday night, starting next Tuesday, there's an after party. So, after the show, we go right next door to Peace Lounge, and we turn up together for THC Tuesdays, presented by my fam, Fat Hefe and oh. District Dabbers. Be on the lookout for the artwork that'll be coming very soon, man. So yeah, now after the show, there's an after party, and so let's go in there and let's turn up. It's 420 friendly. We could we could light it, don't fight it, and you know I'm gonna be in the building. There's gonna be giveaways. You never know what'll happen when I'm in the building. There, there will be shenanigans. I assure you, there will be shenanigans. Nice. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm so about. That's what I'm about. yeah, starting next week, TAC Tuesdays, motherfucking Peace Lounge, right next door. So y'all can pull up here, we can pre-game in this motherfucker, and then we go next door and turn the fuck up together. You know what I'm saying? Like, at a real party, I may, I may dance. I may, I may bust out the Macarena on them. Hey. My Macarena game is crazy. Hey. It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm not good at any of these new dances these kids do because I don't got the knees. Though. I don't got the knees and I ain't got the hips for it. But you can do that. I do the wrong move, my motherfucking hip be displaced. I, I tear a meniscus out this bitch. We don't want none of that. Baka Macarena, because that shit is like... All right? That shit don't take nothing. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no jerky leg. Ain't none of that. I could probably hit a dab on him. Oh, my shoulder. You see what I'm talking about? That's the shit I'm talking about. My shoulder. Come I'm on, old. Let's go. Rickety. 
Oh, my shit. Okay. See, you can do, I can do all the upper body shit. You know what I'm saying? I just can't do nothing from the from the knees down. That's why I'm the um current chair dancing champion in Washington, D.C. Um, I was on season four of Chair Dancing with the Stars. I don't know if you guys saw me. I, I got the raw deal. I don't think I connected with the voter at home. And, and that's I think that's why I got voted off. Um, I don't want to say it's racism. I don't want to go there because, you know, that's a whole nother can of worms for another episode. You know what I'm saying? Do you but, ever uh, practice at strip clubs? Or? No, 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 sir. I, 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 I respect my crap. The fuck you think this is? You think I'm running around just trying to get random chair dances? Yo, I don't know. No, sir. I literally bust moves in this shit. You bust, bust. Yo, bro, I'm going to make a video one day just to show you how graceful I am. <laughs> shit is lit. I'm about, to, I'm about, to, I'm working behind the scenes with DJ Boom on my wow. chair dancing aerobics. It's kind of like Zumba, but in your chair. You know what I'm saying? It's lazy Zumba. Y'all think I'm bullshitting. That shit is coming, B. Yo, we gotta shoot a skit for shit. You see the shit that comes out Yo, of my mind, bro? We need skits for this. I need a sketch comedy show, man. Listen, I told you motherfucking producers, I need a very good Jewish friend. Boom is Jewish, he's my friend. So he's gonna vouch for me. Yo, yo. All right? No, the whole show business is Jewish. Yo. But let's not fucking lie. We are All right, not listen to me. The Jewish it. people run show business. Yo. They do. Stop. Listen. Igor. So Boom is my guy in. Right. No, we're not. We're not. Go Listen. Let's go to commercial. I'm not having the Mel Gibson moment, I swear. Yeah. I swear I'm not. I swear. Igor. Trust me. Please, let me just nail this point home. Look, guys, I love you very much, all right? I do. I love your delis. I love everything about you guys. You're amazing, oh okay? Shoot me a quick $100,000. I'll give you 10 episodes of, of my sketch comedy show. Just believe in me. I believe in you. What if some, what if somebody who was not Puerto Rican said, yo, what are you Puerto Ricans, yo? I yo, they, they say, yo, y'all niggas is mad good at break dancing and breaking in the cars. I'd be like, yo, I'll give you a hundred grand. You'd be like, I'm going. I'm gone. Give me a hundred bands. So I'm trying, bro, is this for both of us? Now, this is for both of us. If I go, you're coming with me, bro. I get a hundred thousand. There's a G in it for you. Oh, Yo, listen, I, I'm 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 locally semi-famous. Yeah, man. on a local. <laughs> Yo, look at man, you thought I was gonna go all Mel Gibson with it? That's not I what I was doing. Don't I was know just begging for money. I was just begging. You're not gonna let me pander. Uh, I don't got no jokes. I'm not a comedian. Good. Well, I'm, I'm kind of funny. Kind of funny. I like to think I'm funny on Shit. Tuesdays. Especially on the Tuesday, I'm funny. Yeah. So, yo, you think it's time? Think it's time I start telling these people about shit and stuff? I think we can talk about this. You week. sure? Talk about this week. That make you very uncomfortable with my with no, my pandering? No, no. We can get back. You to thought the it was gonna get way weirder than it got. It got a little. weird. Give me some credit. Uh, <laughs> when you go back and watch this on YouTube next week I'm or be like, tomorrow, I'm fucking brilliant. What are you talking about? I'm trying to get us this money. Oh, oh. We need that shmoney, Brody. Oh. Listen, don't forget the offer. The offer still stands. All right, I got ten episodes for you. All right, you don't even gotta be Jewish. If you got a hundred bands, just holla at me. Yeah, How, is that better? Should I just open it up to everyone? Yeah, every, everybody. All right, listen. No everybody. matter what, it was open to everyone. But yes. I was like specifically specifying. No, we, don't, we don't have to specify. No. No. All right. So look. So look. The good people at District Danvers have respect yes. for the Jewish community. And without question, District Dabber's uh, views are not the views of WLVS Radio and or any of its subsidiaries. Yeah, yeah. I'm fucking, I'm, I'm brilliant. Yeah, keep, keep you gotta give me my fucking props, bro. I'm fucking that brilliant. Was, was I'm official. good at this shit. That was official. <laughs> that was a great cleanup. That was, and look, they that was presidential me. and shit. They encouraged me. I'm gonna keep doing this shit. <laughs> that, 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 that was presidential. It was so good, man. So good. I'm District Dabbers, and I stand behind this statement. Damn, 2020. Let's go. I want to be your president for 2020. Vote cannabis. Yeah, I'm going to get like seven votes. Yeah. Gonna like seven. Come on. You get two 700. We live in a two-party system, but that's neither here nor there. You get 710 votes. So, yo, listen. Okay, now let's get serious, right? right? What's that? You got to be serious. Every Sunday, 
Every Sunday. Every fucking Sunday. Every fucking Sunday. My bro, four homies in the building doing it. He's here from 9 to 10 with the slab hour. <laughs> Look, I just so, talked about his show and I coughed up damn near, uh, I dab near Kababu. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if y'all saw that new phone homie video that's going around with his Kababu. Kababu. Um, that was hilarious. He was like, it smells like Chinese food. I almost peed on myself when I heard that shit. Yo. That was fucking hilarious. He's fucking funny. So make sure you tune in every Sunday from 9 to 10, man, for the Brody. And yo, you know what? What's that? We got... For homie's going to be my guest tonight. Hey! So, you know, he should be... You know, he likes to be fashionable with his entrance. Fashionably late. We give fashionable. it up to the bro. He's going to be... He's going to be... He's going to be very fashionable. Okay? That's cool, okay. though. Because he's got an important message. And, and I, I think that, oh, you know, we really need to give him... Our platform. I think just one hour on his show is not enough. We need us. We need to give him a little bit uh, shine on this show as well. So he hit us with the PSA. So we can rally the troops, so to speak. Oh shit! Rally the troops. So my brother will be in the building shortly, and the partners in crime motherfucking reunion will happen live. It's about to go down. So that's going down. I got no fucking rapper today. Diaz, Diaz, brother. Got no fucking rappers today. Right? We're talking this. I mean, you are. You you are. You resemble one closely. You are right. You are a rapper. Shout out to my motherfucking bro, Stoner. We're not going to talk about this Friday. I don't want to get into that, all right? Because I love you. All right? Not yet. Not yet. But, but when, my, when my nigga came in the building, and <laughs> my nigga's response was just fucking gold. So I'm not going to say it because, you know, I'm not going to do what everyone thinks I'm going to do. I have to. You should have seen my live. It, was, it happened on my live. You should have been there. No, you was not. It was 7 in the p.m. You was not at work. So you should have been tuning in, right, in your car. Yeah, of course. Of course. I drive with no hands. I, I drive with no hands. Straight up. I do wow. that. So like I said, man, that's Sunday nights. Uh -huh. Then Monday. Uh -huh. Monday. Monday. Monday We're in the nights. building. For episode number three, we was just here last night. I don't know if hey. you guys were, were in the building, but we was lit out this bitch. All right? So, yo, problem. District Gabbers presents Pete Sesh TV. Going 10 up. to 11 in the p.m. every motherfucking Monday. You know what I'm saying? Every motherfucking Monday. We're in the building from 9 to 11. If you want to come, just say hi and play some Frisbee golf or whatever. Frisbee what have golf. You. Nice. We do indoor Frisbee golf. It's, it's, it's on a small scale. That's nice, though. You know what I'm saying? I made that up. I totally made all no, of that up. That would be fun. I've never played Frisbee Stupid. golf in my life. Nice. I, I shit you not. Please, man. I look like a frisbee golf kind of guy. Yes, bro. you do. I'm, I'm, I look like a more of a long that, darts guy. The than dad anything. jokes, bro. yo, trust me. Listen, you and frisbee golf are I've made never, for each I other. Am, I am. I've never had the pleasure. Okay, so okay. yo, look it. Then okay. after Monday happens, and, Monday you know, is fucking. Lit. You recuperate because you got nothing. Peach, Peach in Georgia, they like to do the little of the glug glug glug. So, hey, look, I don't judge. Yeah, suggestion free zone. So, you know, you might have a little bit of a headache. You shake that off. You eat some cold pizza. Then, boom, you pull up on us Tuesday night. Ooh. You know what the fuck we do here? You know what the fuck we do. We deliver another installment of the show that we lovingly refer to as Talking Turps with District Tavers. I need the goddamn the snap filter. Oh man, I hate I snap filters. I don't know what anybody even looks man, like bro, anymore. I'm, I'm giving you gold tonight, bud. You're not giving me no fucking credit. Oh man, you're talking about bro. snap filters, bro. I do. I think my fucking golden pineapple's up for grabs right now. Pete wow. says she wants it. Pete. Fucking Petey, you know we oh, here with Petey after we skip is. Wednesday night, right? Cause we gotta. We come here on Thursday and we Monday see my bro Peter Plains. Yes. Who's on? He's gunning for my golden pineapple too. Yo, good for him. But they don't know that I'm very tight with the board at the voting committee. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna win again. Sorry. <laughs> Cause I fucking invented the award. It's my award. What, what the fuck? I could win it for ten years in a row if I want. Yeah. I could have just said I was like, yo, I'm the 15 year reigning golden pineapple champion. Yeah. But you, I didn't come out the gate like that. You could let them hold it for a week. You know what I'm saying? It could be the monthly pineapple holder. My motherfucking pineapple. You know what I'm saying? Had enough. I could discontinue this bitch if I want. Yo, do what you need to do. I'm not. I'm not petty like that though. Please don't be petty, look up. I'm not. I'm not petty. Yo, is that the one with the pies? Yeah. Unfortunately, that's what you know about now. Fucking pies. 
Listen, I like pie, and I cannot lie. Oh, wow. This guy right here. So, yo, I think I fucking earned this. Uh, oh, Thursday? oh, 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 we didn't, oh, we got to oh, Thursday. oh, 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 wait, wait. I got my lungs back, motherfuckers. Hey. Big show. I am no longer baby lungs. Hey. Georgia can keep that title. That's her shit. You know what I'm saying? I am now... Oh. Oh. I am now El Henaral, El Lung Henaral, Henaral. So we're gonna come on. Let's get weird. I'm ready. So Thursday, I did Thursday. Oh my God, fucking stoner! Come on, man. I'm tired of this guy. Friday. I'm so tired of this. Guy. All right, we're we're He's almost like a thorn there. on my side. We're almost. He doesn't even there. give me a cool poster. Come on, man. Let's just. I want a cool poster. We know. All right, so look, Friday, we're here. Friday. All right, I'm, we're gonna go boom first, okay? Boom it up. Big we got boom. my fam. Hip hop and action. Motherfucking the boomer. There's a lot of goddamn shows. The motherfucking boomer. Hip hop and action with my fam, DJ B Dub. Then, a, then we slide into Freestyle Friday. Yes. I'm, I'm working an angle for this next Freestyle Friday. I'm trying to work an angle here. My, my, my fam knows the angle I'm working here. Okay. Work it. Then, yeah. Then, right after the motherfucking battle, this dude be like, all oh, like, He's like, he just was in the movie 300 and shit, wow. right? Then he comes up here and he does more drugs and delivers his show. Does he? You know? My fam, the real weed guys DMV. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. El, El, El Capitan. Hey, in the building. The motherfucking... Listen, I told you he was going to be fashionable. He even brought a fan. He knows shit be hot in this motherfucker. Oh, he's, oh, he's going to get real sweaty with these dabs. Damn. Something is going to... Something is going to get weird. But listen, ladies and gentlemen, my brother so, phone yeah. homie has entered the building right as. Yo, bro, listen, your timing couldn't be any more perfect. Yeah. Because listen, it's time for my dab. So you, I think you need to join me. Come on. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, phone homie. <laughs> DJ Bud. What up, DJ Bud? Motherfucking his house. I heard you stole my DJ. I stole him, and then we close out. It's gonna get all fucked up. Shout out to DJ Bud. Good song. Serve it up and slap it down. Ladies and gentlemen, Washington, D.C., worldwide. This motherfucking partners in crime are in the building, everybody. Make some motherfucking noise! <laughs> All right, you guys, you guys are super loud. Please, quiet oh, down. Shut up. Rico. No, stop, guys, stop. Please, quiet down. Show. I'm going to do a warmer's dab for my brother. Does anybody have a torch? Who's got a torch? Who's got a torch? Nobody? It up and slap it down. You choose into the motherfucking host with the most. Holler at your koala. It's your motherfucking koala. Yeah. And it's if you're from Puerto Rico, holla at your motherfucking iguana. Yo, my soul. My oh, homie comes in like a motherfucking wrecking ball. All right, guys. Here we go. Trip it up and slap it down. WLBSRadio.com, 2622 Georgia Avenue, Northwest Washington, D.C. Get your ass in here. Turn it up and slap it down with us. Fuck around with us. It's fucking church with District Amherst. 
today, Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Right here on WLBSRadio.com. What is that? What time? Slam. Slam and bean. Oh, shit. <coughs> oh, God. Turn it up and slap it down, you motherfuckers. We're smoking on some lemon bean, solventless. Oh, Oh, Don't worry about it. It's good. Stable. There you go. This comes compliments of the motherfucking bro. Trilly Wonka. Thank you, Trilly Wonka. Appreciate you. Let's get into some of this lemon busy. This is Processed the by the fan, Frosty Nugman. Let's go. Get a few tips. I do. You got a cap? You got that less more. <laughs> of course I wouldn't do that. <laughs> so yo, as my brother dies over here, I saw you over there. You, you were out there shooting guns and shit in VA. A lot of people may not know. I, I love, I love Second Amendment rights. That fucking that big joint was pushing you. I seen your shoulder was dying. I'm like, God damn, that good. shit got some fucking hit. Good. Oh my god, twenty round S12. See ya. <laughs> oh, shotgun. Uh, <laughs> Twenty round drum, drum, uh, drum round. Interception. <laughs> I told you there'd be shenanigans. Much love to the IG fam of both phone homie and Turkey talking terps, Turkey tops, Turkey tops, and 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 terps. Hi, right, um. So, bro, how you been, man? I've been good. How was your uh, your Memorial Day? It was good, man. I stood home. I uh, just kicked it with the fam. Nice. We went to two. Uh, we went to two Memorial. Bar- bar- I saw you went to. The- you actually went to. Uh, you went to Arlington, didn't you? Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, we were in Arlington, the, the big one, uh, obviously. But then before that, we went to a smaller one over at the turn of North Capitol. It was actually very peaceful there. There's not that many people there, but it was. Uh, it was solemn, you know. Uh, got to teach my son a little bit. We we got to reposition some uh, American flags on the graves. Yeah, I know? saw. I saw that. That's nice. awesome. Really nice. I saw that. Uh, you went. You went to the, un- the unknown soldiers. I saw that as well. That's awesome. It, it, it's good to teach the kids that it's it's much more than just like barbecue and a day at the beach, right? right. You know, like a lot of these holidays are are aligned with all the comforts that we get to yeah, enjoy. Yeah, but you don't realize like. All the discomforts that the soldiers went through in, in order for you guys to enjoy that, you know what I mean? So, AKA died. Literally, yeah. that's Memorial Day. Yeah, yeah facts. A lot of people yeah, don't we're, understand. Yeah, we're Memorial honoring Day. the dead soldiers a lot of people say thank memor- you. in Memorial. A lot of people say thank you to, to people serving, and that's awesome and everything like that, but Memorial Day is, is indeed a celebration of the, those who lost their, their lives uh, in, in service. Or facts. Indeed. I mean, it's like in the name. So, so you're drinking your, your normal brew. Shout out to Three Stars Brewery. Got me motherfucking twisted Damn. on this. Uh, uh, oh, speaking, this is new. Yeah, speaking in uh, cursive, this is 11 point change, 11.7 alcohol percent. Yeah, it's 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 actually pretty hard to get down. It's smooth as fuck, but after a while, you're like, oh my God, I'm getting really loopy right now off of one beer. It, it has almost like a bur- oh you don't you don't uh you don't drink so I don't. You know what I did yesterday though? With like the yin and the yang. I right inhaled. Now. Uh, I I was smelling. Cognac. cognac alcohol, yeah, like no, I was sniffing cognac out of a cup, like just smelling sniffing it. Cognac. You got uh, alcohol, it's of alcohol. You got some uh, alcohol what? wipes. I don't got any wipes. Anybody have alcohol wipes or any sort of isopropyl in the house? You were sniffing, just sniffing alcohol, no, like just no, like you know, like hanging in like, the cup, yeah, and jerking off just at the same time. time. Like a no, sniffer. that would have been weird. I was here, bro. I was. How do you from know the, huh. from the from how the do you back? know me so well? From the That's back. interesting. That's when you reach around your own butt and then you jerk off wow. your legs. Where is that going? I told you it was gonna get weird. I knew it was gonna That's get weird. That's what I'm sniffing. This is what we do. This is the fuck it. There are Listen. no barriers. Look at <laughs> Be careful what you wish for. All I'm right. Some very weird looks from the crowd. Like holy shit. They're what like, the oh fuck man. is wrong with you? What's wrong with well, you guys? Is, it's, it's called basically trying to get your attention. Make sure you motherfuckers are listening. So look, I got like news here. 
and then I'm supposed to supposed to go into to, we're supposed to go into your spiel bro we're supposed to let the people know what's actually look i'm not gonna lie i haven't been i've been very vocal about how how, how much i'm like fuck this bill mm -hmm. but i i think that we we, we kind of need to educate the people like I'm, I'm screaming the sky is falling but yeah. i mean you're you, you've really been uh in the trenches as far as you know, hands on with with this bill and all of the bills actually. Uh, well, and, and I, I kind of trust trenches, your judgment. I would say I wouldn't say in the trenches. I would say probably along the sidelines, watching the trenches be dug. But uh, I, there's a lot of people doing a lot more than I have. So make sure that we're giving credit to all those people. No, but, for sure, for sure. But um, I have been able to do a little bit uh, of research. Uh, I've gotten my hands on both the bills. Uh, I've been lucky enough to sit in a few meetings, to sit, sit in a few um uh different organizations uh rooms and help uh, uh kind of get an understanding of what's going on behind the scenes and what's in, in you know in the public eye um and there's a I, lot of shit i've going taken on. the fly on the wall approach <laughs> yeah you know it more or less because i'm no i'm not i'm a layman you know i'm not a politician i don't know bills i don't know legislation uh i, I know i'm sorry legislature uh and you know i may I, I may be able to break words down and everything like that but i'm not gonna really I'm not really trying to, you know. Yeah. Uh, so really, right now, what it is 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 uh, is really number one, getting the community together. Uh, no matter what the uh, goal is for each person, we all need to come together for a common goal. Find out what that common goal is and push that that goal forward, so that we are able to stand. Uh, you know, tall when when the when the wave washes through, which it will. There'll be a lot of and big, the wave is definitely yeah, coming. Waves coming. A lot of big money. A lot of big, you know, companies want, you know, what we have created here right. in the district, um, and maybe more, maybe less, or maybe you know, all in between. So you got to understand, like, you know, if major companies are are taking an approach to it, then why should we lose our place, which we never almost, you know, we've almost never had. Yeah, definitely. Uh, mm -hmm. So you know, it's it's been given to us in a in a gray area. Pretty yeah. much, be at your own risk. Take your own own you know risks uh, right. your your own expenses, you know chance getting locked up or robbed or held up or right. you know uh, or or the any, many you know, plethora of things that could be for you any other things that could happen. You can't use the bank. Yeah, I can't use the bank. You know, no, there's a lot of things. Like a lot of stupid shit. Huh? Lots of stupid shit. Loads of barriers. Un unfortunately, lots of, barriers. Yeah. lots of fucking barriers. Uh, so how do you stake your claim, man? I mean, like, what happens now? It's you know it's 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 duck it's, you know duck punch duck <laughs> punch you know what I'm saying like try to get in there really honestly yeah. it's, it's push it when you have to DC we've all come to learn is a place where you have to you know make action um, yeah. you know in order to really be seen or heard true um, you know and as long as I feel like as long as it's done the diplomatic way uh, but with uh, astuteness uh, with charisma with uh, diplomacy. Uh, you should be able to at least be heard, right? And at the very least, try to snag something that will help us out in the long run. You know, if we're able to get, uh, you know, an, a, a just some sort of agreement that says, "Hey, we're here. Don't don't hurt us. Don't mess with us. You know, let just us let, let us be. Let the people. You know, the the so-called. You know, there was a radio show and they they were saying so-called uh, industry leaders. You know, I got a question: Who are those industry leaders? Who are the so-called? Who are these so-called they're what? referring to? You know, we have to really uh, consider that. You know, we are indeed all industry leaders of our own right. Uh, in a in a very uh, how do you say boutique sort of way, we've created an atmosphere that has sprouted throughout the rest of the United States and uh, even trickled outside to the rest of the world. Yeah. We, we made a wave. We made our own wave out here. We, not to mention, we made history together. You know what I mean? Like, I got the honor yeah. to say I've been next to you as we've made a lot of this history. You know what I'm saying? And and, and no matter what this bill says or what it does or, or whatever it does, it's never going to erase what the, the history we've made. You know no, what I'm definitely saying? Definitely not. So. Uh, quite honestly, I believe that, you know, a lot of the pros that we've uh, we've exhibited, you know, as well as the cons have been well documented. Mm. So, anybody have Raws? Oh, I have Raws. The Raws. So bougie. You're super bougie. You're so bougie. Super, <laughs> this is a fucking DC staple right here. Jeez. All right? This is the bamboo, Brody. You put, you put Fronto on that? No, sir. No. Yeah. no. So, I, I, so much for DC staple. No, listen. Okay, look. That's some Jamaican. Nico might have snuck some in there because he's sneaky as shit. 
But he, yeah, see, yeah, I'm yeah. proud of him. I'm okay, proud of him. Because yeah, no one time he slipped the joint, he was like, yo, here you go, boom. And I'm hitting it. I'm like, oh. He's like, yo, I put a little bit in there. I put a little like, in there. Ah, uh, this guy. Shout out to Nico. Oh, and he's so bougie, he uses my roller, too. Jesus uh, Christ. Yeah, dude, I didn't even know it was like that. All right, so look. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna read one of these stories. All right. You read the story. I'm gonna roll this up. Yeah. I'm gonna roll up some of this dosi though. I love smoking dosi though. Nice. Uh, who likes smoking dosi? This this shit is really good, right? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Right. Oh fuck. Light it. Don't fight it. I was expecting to get like yeah, people ripping at the fucking. This bougie motherfucker didn't take my weed. Wow. Mm. So right. No, it's not. It's not that. I'm gonna I'm gonna smoke this weed. No, with I'm, you. I'm gonna take yours too. Yes. When you pass it to me, I'm gonna take it. Bougie. No, this is bougie weed. No, it's is not it about. Hey, listen, it's not. He doesn't like. Right, look, before I get beat up in the studio, like the bleach look, before papers. I get jumped in the studio, okay, I just want to make this clear. It's not like about the, the weed that you spoke. Papers. It's the it's the papers. He doesn't like oh, the papers the to papers. be. Okay. No, you had violence here. You see the blood drop. No, you know Linda. Eye. You know Linda, bro. You're like you're like. Is yo, that listen, what it's called? Is it really listen, bougie she's weed? She's a DJ, bro. That's huh? DJ Hypnotic on the low low. Nah, DJ, DJ Hypnotic on the ones she, she and be out two, here rocking two, black two. parties all by herself. So nice. she's a little bit louder now. Nice. So look, James Brown. The NFL is looking into medical marijuana and its potential with Football Players Union. The NFL's longtime negative stance to marijuana use among its personal, uh, among its personnel, forgive me, could shortly be headed to a more lenient stance. Beheaded? Yeah, they're going to be headed. That's violent. No one's getting beheaded, sir. The league and the union representing the players have decided to research cannabis as a method of pain management. Mm. As part of the contract, the league and the NFL Players Association will participate in two committees structured to offer guidance on the matter. The study will also add an examination of the use of prescription drugs by players. The league, the league's chief medical officer, Alan Sills, said in an interview with the Washington Post, "I think it's a proud day for the NFL and the NFLPA to come together on these issues in a very public way. I think it demonstrates the spirit of cooperation we have around our health and safety issues. Both of these committees are about providing the best health care we can to our players." Healthcare. Speaking of healthcare, man, it's tough, man. This is for the for the the the, the country that we are, man. I, I would assume that we would have better healthcare, man. It's killing. Do you know that? Like, I get a call saying, "Oh, you haven't had healthcare for like uh, over a year now," and I'm like, "Why? Exactly. Somebody didn't give you the the, the, like, you the renewal about? package," and I'm like, "But I did." Uh, uh, so, uh, that means you could literally die. <laughs> Yeah, well, if you don't have I, enough no, money, I, mean, I can. I if can you don't a, have enough money, you could literally you get a die billion with that, dollar bill. That or that or and that or like you know, I, 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 you know, bruise an ankle and I get charged eighteen thousand dollars. I'm gonna have to pay for that crazy debt, right? For no so, reason. But when you have kids, though, you know, now it becomes even scarier. You gotta fend for them. Although the league's policy is strict, it's no secret that the players consume marijuana. A Super Bowl champion defensive end who just recently announced his retirement, Ooh. Chris Long, said in a statement that the league, the league's drug testing policy is ineffective because players know when the test is coming and they can stop. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Yeah. For now, so he kind of dry snitched a little bit there. Yeah. But I mean, it's kind of common sense as well. Of course. For now, the league doesn't appear to reconsider this policy on recreational marijuana use. The dual committee set up to examine medical cannabis one to evaluate pain management, the other to focus on mental health, are expected to begin work immediately. Whoa. Though any actual policy change will have to be settled through collective bargaining between the league owners and the NFLPA. The NFL commissioner, Roger Goodell, reported Wednesday in a response to the study, there are a lot of alternative pain medications and treatments and those are the types of things that we want this committee to focus on with medical experts and with medical science behind that. Of course, they will look at one of those, which is the role that medical marijuana can play in that. You know, that's something that will be part of their studies, but it's much broader than that. Hell yeah. I mean, just give them the CBDs and keep Yo, it moving. Son. At Word least. up. Yo. At least. We needed to do this. I miss you, bro. This is, this <laughs> is awesome. a minute, right? Yeah, this is fucking awesome. been shit Nigga, this is your fucking... You present this show, motherfucker. You it's should be presented. here a lot more. 
You should come and fucking do this a lot more. You know, I have barely enough time with my kids. I know, bro. I'm here. This is so funny. Look, I know how life is. I want 17 of these so I can just do everything. But, know, bro, like, I mean, this is, this is, I missed this. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. Thank you. So, look, purposes except for in Quebec and Alberta, where the legal age is 18. So, keeping it in ties. What the fuck is this over here? I hey, don't know. Hey, He's look at that's the news, all right? Yo, the fucking news is Whoa, crazy, right? yeah. Yeah. Fuck that news. We're done. Celebration. Right? No, this is what happened. When I came in <laughs> earlier, for some reason, all the news didn't print out, right? Yo. And then so we printed the other half what of the news, happen? like like right before go time. And then I thought I had them perfect, but now I'm high and I didn't. So fuck it. That's the news. So wait, what, what happened though? What was it? What was the bad, what was the problem? No, I, 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 like, probably went, like, halfway into, like, another story, like, so it's Whoa. over. All right, it's all over. It's over. There's no nobody, news. Nobody gets to learn No one gets tonight. any news today. We're not learning no more, anything. No more edification? You know, uh, no, sir. You will be doing the teaching tonight. Okay. Oh, everybody on your own. Just, all right, so at least you could have waited till I rolled this jail. No, no, look. This is what we're going to do. What you want to do? Let's go to, let's go to my fancy little commercial we got there. Oh, shiznops. You remember, you were there when we shot this. I was? Yep. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I remember this in Washington. No, I yeah, know, this is where we in, were in, in, in PDX. Yeah, it's nice. I miss that place. Yeah, I do, man. I love I love the fam ah, out there, man. man. Like, such great people. I do, man. I, I miss Washington. the ice cream. Yeah, and the ice cream, salt and straw. Oh, my God. Yo, what was that and weird North, shit you ate? It had, like, some kind of blood in it, right? The Northwest Cannabis Club? What? Of course. The, oh, a whole fam at the Northwest wait, Cannabis wait, Club. what did you say? Remember the ice cream you ate? It was, like, weird ice cream, and it had, like, blood in it. You don't remember? What? Blood. Yes, man. Like... Listen, the ice creams were weird. It was around Halloween no, no, time. Bone marrow. Had something bone weird in it. Marrow. Yeah, bone it had, marrow. Yeah, bone marrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was bone marrow. It was, no, it was, it was combination good. of flavors like cherry and bone marrow. What? It was good. They had, they had, like, they had a weird one. Like, they, like, they don't have normal like, ice cream. Gruyere cheese and pear. Gruyere cheese and well, pear. That's my favorite one, the pear. That was my yeah. favorite one, pear and gruyere. Oh, what? my God. That shit is crap. Well, you guys taste buds. Listen, no, no this guy taste bro. buds. Me, I'm normal as fuck. But this ice cream place was bomb. Yo, it's Bone so bomb. But they, remember they did all, but it was Halloween it's time, I remember. Delicious. And they had like ants that went in the ice cream. Come on, you yeah, remember they had, that? They had, yeah, they had one with uh, with insects in it. Like actual insects went in the ice cream. Yep. Yeah, they, the craziest thing is like everything in the, like most of the ingredients in the store you can actually buy because they're local. And they're, you know, you, they have information that leads back to these farmers. You can literally go straight to. Wow. So if you want the ants, you want to go buy some ants for your fucking refrigerator and fucking later. Stir fried ant rice. Yeah. Stir it's fried there. Ants. Yeah, it's there. It's there. So yeah, we're gonna take this little break. Take it. When take we come it. back, wlvsradio.com. My bro phone only homie. presents talking terms with district dabbers. Dabbers, stabbers, stabbers, stabber.
And we're back. Yo, we're fucking back. WLVSRadio.com. Listen, vision live. It's motherfucking talking church with District Dabbers, co-hosted by Phone Homie today. Yo, listen. Before we go any further, man, shout out to uh, True Heads Clothing. That's True Heads Heads with a Z. Z. Did I do it right, boom? Is that how we practiced it? Z. I want to talk Shout out to my one of my first two sponsors, man. True Heads Clothing, man. They make fucking dope ass hats. Um, so yeah, that was one of the sponsors for tonight, bro. Shout out to Grassroots California. Tear it up and slap it down. Uh, with the no, awesome dude, hats. can we pluck it? Hold up. Is that real wood? That's a quick pluck. That's real wood right there. The fuck That's wood, here. baby. Right, That's wood. that yep. good got wood. A, got, a stash, got a stash pocket in here for all your drugs. That is a and the good wood. Bill. Don't forget that. Stop playing. That's dope. Uh, Got ex- and, uh, got the, exceptional and the brim, wood for and the you. Brim by Moon Men Creations, partnered up with my uh, my company, Partners in Crime Clothing Company, aka Slab Life Clothing Company, aka you know, Phone Homie. I'm an official Damn. model for, for for Partners of Crime Clothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm in some of the best shape of my life too. I'm just waiting on my next package. Yeah, I get these motherfucking G strings. Yo, you're gonna be rocking those. And yeah, the, no, the speedos. We already talked about that. The speedos. Um, Igor's shooting a music video, and I'm going to be the male focal point oh of the video. God. It's going to be crazy. I can't wait. Hold oh, what? I'm going to have a cup of Southern Comfort and, and a phone homie partners in crime speedo oh, on. It's going to be God. lit. Jesus Christ. For, you didn't hear about so the bathing suit line that's coming out? We're about yeah. to shut down the game. There's a wave of woes. <laughs> Stop the pressing. All right, but now it's time to get serious, though. It's 2019. Anything flies. Yeah, it's just, Fuck. But no, no, it doesn't. No, on, a, right. <laughs> on, on a for serial note, you've been very busy. Yeah, you've been showing know. up in the suit, bro. I know when I see you in the suit, shit is real. Uh, you know. So it's... now it's time to to, to 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 turn into the politician that you don't want to be, but you are. Let the people know what's going on. Uh, so um, yeah. So basically, what we got going on is uh. I, I believe Monday we're going to continue the uh, uh, shout out to uh, the the cannabis business association. If I'm saying that right, if I'm saying it wrong, Lisa oh, it's Scott the and DC CBA, so yeah, the yeah. DC Cannabis yeah, yeah. Business Association. Exactly. Uh, they uh, they they head up the Monday meeting and uh, they have their own agenda there. But during that time, we will be able to um, do readings on the bill. Um, last week we got through. I'm sorry, the week before we got through about 13 pages of the. Uh, the Miro Bowser bill and some parts are pretty redundant. You know, it's it's, it's very hard to read. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but once like you the get, wording on that shit is weird and but as but fuck. you actually start to get to parts where they actually do terminology for everything. They actually give you kind of a glossary. Yeah, yeah. And, and so you actually start to read definitions. So before you're going into the whole bill, they're actually defining a lot of the terms that they're talking about. There's very interesting terms that they use as well. I really suggest reading it, um, but there's also another bill, which is the Grasso bill, and that bill's around, been around for about two years now. It's been signed off on. Um, it's been heard, uh, but there's, there's work to be done on it. So, um, it, it, you know, who knows what's going to happen in total. Um, so far, two bills are out, and there, you know, there's talk of other people developing bills as we speak. Maybe some bills have been proposed and denied. Maybe some uh, bills are non-existent yet. Maybe some bills are in uh, its blueprint form. The Monday meeting is is held by you know uh, again there's various different agendas, there's very different um, positions on on you know how people are trying to proceed with uh, the movement, if you will. Um, but I think that um, right now you know regardless of everybody's you know uh, views or, or or policies, we all need to come together and stand together, organized, so that we can present ourselves in front of the proper. Uh, you know, uh, roles in in Congress to see about you know what kind of change that we can make, if any at all. Right. You know, we have to also go into the fact that yeah, you like, know, is we, it too late? It might be too yeah. late. You know, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, it's, well, that it's, was it's never been, too late. There's been, people, the there's, been people, there's been people investing into this for a long time. While already. we were partying, there were people that were doing like getting uh, legal, that were doing getting organized. I but don't get me wrong, us doing the party that set a precedent for over here. And, you and, did and, the hard work. You did the shit that they can't do in the courtrooms and. That they can't do it. Right. They need you. Like but, but at yeah, some like point they're gonna be that like, you, yo, you hit on at the last meeting that made a lot of sense that with the lawyer that, that when you talk to the lawyer, the his name was Zuckerberg, Zuckerman. Yeah, yeah. Right? And yeah. So, so guys, if you're not at the meetings, you don't get any really of this insight. Wednesday. And, right. and so no, I wanna say this because this is the whole reason why I wanted you to come. Like at the very first meeting, 
when, 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 when the bill dropped at that very first meeting, how many people did we have there, bro? About 100. About 100 people, right? Yeah. At the third meeting, how many people were there, bro? About 25. So the thing is, it doesn't matter how serious 2, 3, 4, 15, 20 people are, right? Like, we all got to be need, serious about it, right? Like, show it, it affects every one of us, right? So I, I, I wanted you to come on the show because I, I like, I, you know me, like, yeah. you know how I move, Papo. I like to listen a lot, and then I try to, like, present help where I can. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't got a lot to say because I don't understand none of this law shit. Like, yeah. that's not what I do. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, I listen a lot, and but I'm I'm, I'm running out of things to listen to because people aren't showing up anymore. Yeah. Right? So, so like, I, I, I have a, I have a the question. The next meeting is tomorrow, right, bro? Yes, it is. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow at 7 p.m. Uh, over at the King Weedy Mansion. That's uh, 1849 Calvert Street, Northwest. All right. Uh, you are invited. Uh, just understand, there's a community meeting. So, yeah. you know, uh, we need you to be serious Everyone's about welcome. coming in. Everyone is welcome. Well, 21 over, obviously. For sure. It's, uh, this is not a pop-up. This yeah, isn't no. a party. This isn't right, a sesh. Right, so right, please right, don't get talking, it confused. This isn't us policy. doing cold talk for a sesh. No, it's not cold. Very serious things going on. And uh, we need the community. So the one of the very important things is D.C. in particular, we need... Just because when it goes time to talk to anybody, they're only going to listen to the residents of D.C. Mm. They're not going to listen to other people. They'll li- I'm right. sorry. Let me rephrase that. They'll listen to you, but they you're not going to be documented or heard because if you're not a resident of D.C., they're going to ask you, are you a resident of D.C.? Right. You know, you, you, so we're really looking for people. And, of course, we need the support from the DMV or anywhere that you know you guys are at. No, when it's time to show but, force. But it really has to be force. D.C. You know, for itself uh, that shows up. In particular, you know, it's not going to be anything unless there are D.C. residents really showing up and right. voting. Because at the time of voting comes, you know, it's, it's going to take D.C. residents only that are going to be able to vote for D.C. Well, this is going to happen, right? Fact. So is there like a, I don't want to say a manifesto, but like a list of, you know, things the community wants to see if, you know, we had to amend things? I mean, is that what like, First, is that like the end game? You know, to at least be able to... the, the community needs to come together as a whole. Numbers are important. Uh, a large population of people are important, so they can we can show up in numbers, so we can have people actually vote. Um, us as a group that is you know loosely forming, uh, it's very important that we figure out you know organization within the groups to properly represent us, find proper representation for our group as well as proper. Proper representation within our group, right. so that we can, you know, do like many others are doing, uh, and, and move sli- swiftly by being able to be listened to. Um, we don't, you know, we need to figure out who those people are. You know, we again, we're all loosely in the dark, trying to reach around, trying to make this, you know, keep this going for us. He said, "Reach around, yo, stop it." <laughs> Come on, bro, I had to. Uh, so yeah, I mean, like basically. Uh, so number one, we got to come up with numbers. We got to two, we have to organize ourselves. Uh, really, what should be one, but our number is three. Is we really need to be well versed in these documents because most of us are not. I don't even know what the shit is talking layman. about. We're laymen. Most well, of us, I mean, laymen, I mean, and laywomen. I'll be lay honest people, with you, bro. People. Like, I'm not. I'm not the most educated, like academically. You see that? You yeah. see how I said I made I made myself being dumb sound smart. Yeah. Yeah, you articulated. You know, word, nice. I, got, I got, oh, I got, I know how to use my speaking words. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't got a lot of them because I'm not that smart. I'm dumb as a bag of rocks. So I'm just, listen, man, I follow your lead, bro. And yeah. and a lot of people follow your lead. And and like, again, that's why I felt um, like you should be here because I think like you need to spread the message that they need to be there. You know, I, appreciate I think it. your show yeah. isn't enough. To spread the message, we need to like bring it on to the next show. So that maybe we'll bring it on to all four of yeah. our, you know, what I'm saying shows, so that people understand, like, you know, just because maybe there's someone out there that can give us some insight that we don't have, right? right. Or you might could bring something to the table that that maybe one of us can't. And and I I, I remember early on it was a whole lot of let's throw money at it, right? And, and I don't think that that's gonna that's gonna, I quite you know technically that's gonna Here's, be what's the fix you know yeah. I mean, it's gonna cost something everything right. costs in this world right exactly but you know that's Here's, that's, that's here's for something Wednesday. here's something interesting just so you maybe you can get an understanding of why you should be interested in this bill um 
to one of the stipulations under the, uh, the new bill from the mayor is going to be to prohibit an excess of 10 ounces of cannabis to be stored within or at a residence and to require an excess of one ounce of cannabis can be stored in an enclosed area or room equipped with locks. So in the beginning when I-71, think about that. When I when we first came out, there was no limit. So like literally you can grow, you know, and some people got good at growing. You know, you can get a pound of plant if you're lucky or maybe more, maybe less. And I mean, but if you actually and then but the law still states that you can still grow those six plants, correct? As far as yeah, what as, grower yeah, have but, you ever but, I mean, met that's pulled seems, six ounces of like uh, six plants? It seems like I seventy one stands at risk. You know, once once some of this stuff goes into you know, effect, I, I, I seventy one is, is doomed. You know, might be fizzled out. Yeah, know? so like my what I feel is like we're literally we're we're, we're fighting to, to to hopefully keep I seventy one in place at best. I would say that would be an awesome common goal. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. All right, the receding okay, hairline on my head agrees. Shit, we got, we got, we did it, bro. Yeah, we did so, it. Yo, listen, this is the thing. No, but think about that though. I, so we just went from, you know, possibly having, you know, multiple uh, stash of, you know, however much bud you want, down to not to prohibit and uh, not to to prohibit an excess of ten ounces. That's not even a pound. How are you gonna pull ten ounces? Uh, you know, like you grow six plants. There's no way you're only gonna pull out ten ounces. Like it's barely two guaps. Yeah, like that's crazy. So look, man, you got you got to be at the meeting so you can you can input whatever knowledge you have, any ideas you may have that might help. Whatever this course, connections man. and resources that you may have. Let the people know where it is one more time, bro. It's gonna be over at 1849 Calvert Street, Calvert Road, Calvert Street. The King uh, Weedy Mansion. If, the King Weedy Mansion. Yes, you King Weedy Mansion at 7 p. At 7. Either at 7 p.m. Technically, we I said 7 10 p.m. But please, yeah. Yeah. get a little bit early. Parking parking can be a little tough over there, so it definitely you know. is. So look, man, this is another episode of Talking Turfs with District Dabbers. I want to thank my brother, Phone Homie, for coming out and 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 letting the people know and helping spread the word. Uh, I'll be there. On, I'll be there tomorrow. I'll see you. Wow, for real, that's yeah, yeah. So actually, that's it. That's over. Wow. <laughs> I'm not, I don't get to go a whole two hours over my show like you, bro. I'm not you. Hey, you're you, bro. Wow. The after the breeze. show after me goes and then you know they want to set up their bar and oh, shit. shit like yeah, we, we gotta, gotta move yeah, yeah we gotta yeah. oh shit what, what should but we there's not after? one before me uh -huh. so I rock from I get to hang out from yeah, yeah. eight to ten you know what I'm saying so I still I still got my time you know what I'm it's just, it's just, it moves differently so look man it's your boy Jay all day AKA yeah. District Dabbers AKA yeah. one of one none before me none to come. come. My bro, four homies in the house, man. Holla at your koala. Turp it up and slap it down, you motherfuckers, you. Mm -hmm. If you're from Australia, holla at your koala, you hurt? If you're from Puerto Rico, holla at your iguana. Dale, boricua, pa' que sepa. Dale, hueva. Woo! We back. Back. Ah.